All righty. <clears throat> Hope everybody here is doing great. It is an incredibly beautiful cold day in Atlanta. Let me get my uh, link from Twitter and let's take this puppy and put it in uh, Facebook and LinkedIn and then we will get going. So give me a second here. Join my daily business scopes. Join my daily business scope, rather. Uh, more about goals. Got some cool stuff that I think will help you out with goal setting. Goal setting used to uh, just bug the daylights out of me until I figured this out. Pop that in there. Pop this in here. Okay, cool beans. So, real quick, I mean, we're headed into the you know, I mean, it's Thanksgiving week, and day after tomorrow is Thanksgiving. Let me introduce myself real fast for those of you who don't know me, and uh, then uh, we will uh, talk about the schedule for this week and next week for my daily business scopes. And, Mike, how are you doing? Thank you for joining the show. And uh, some cool ideas for some shows that I've got coming up in the next couple of weeks. Number one, my name's Lee Cole. I am the real deal in that I make a full-time living with online marketing and network marketing and have done so since. Michelle, how are you? I am doing superb, Mike. I'm a little cold. I was, as usual, my morning routine, I was outside playing with the dog. I don't know how, what the temperature is, but it's cold. It's warmer where you are than it is where I am. And Aaron, thank you for joining the show. So yeah, for the past five plus years, I have been working full time online and also in network marketing. And uh, I'm the real deal. I'm the single breadwinner for the family and I, I do very well for my family. You know, put the roof over our heads, the cars in the driveway, the uh, food on the table, etc, etc, etc. I started these daily business scopes uh, end of August, first part of September because I wanted kind of a safe zone where people could come to basically see how these businesses actually work, to, to, to get hype-free information about these alternative ways of making money, specifically making money with online marketing and making money with network marketing. Um, if, you have, you know, if you're new to the show, number one, I would suggest that you follow me. I've got great content that doesn't always happen Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. Eastern. I have my daily business scope, which happens every day, almost, Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. Eastern. And I have all of my shows recorded and available for you to see, and we're up to 70-some-odd shows now. Um, thank you so much for that. I really appreciate that, Mike. Uh, got all my shows available on my blog, and my blog is at internetmaverick.com. Two words, pushed together, internetmaverick.com. Uh, let, let's talk about what's happening this week because it's Thanksgiving week. I'm actually, uh, I was going to have a show tomorrow on, uh, on your normal week, Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. Eastern on the dot. I have a daily business scope. It lasts anywhere from 15 to 30 minutes. It is a cool way for you to start your day. This is Thanksgiving week, so we're doing it a little different. I was going to have a show tomorrow. I decided not to because I've had a little change in my schedule. So tomorrow... Thanksgiving, which is Thursday and Friday, no show. Next Monday, we will be back on schedule. So Monday through Friday, and I'm not close enough to Christmas to figure out what day that is, but uh, Monday through Friday, next couple of weeks, uh, and then when we get close to Christmas, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you what I'm doing for the few days around Christmas. Uh, cool beans. So it's the end of the year, and, you know, at the end of the year, I mean, we all do a little reflecting. We all do a little looking back, you know. Did we, did things work out? Did they work, did they not work out? Did we hit our goals? Did we get anywhere near our goals? You know, blah, 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 blah. I'll be honest with you. I, I have really struggled with some things this year, not income, but I've struggled with how I make my income this year because it about this time last year, if not a little earlier, so I think we're looking at, about a year ago to a year and a half ago, I made the realization that I wanted more of an asset-based business rather than a business 
where I was trading time for money. And uh, that's fairly hard to create. I mean, it takes time to create that, so I'm not impatient. I just uh, tried several iterations of things. And, you know, as usual, when you try something new, most stuff doesn't work out. That's why people stay stuck, because they don't have... They don't understand that most of the things they try are not going to work out and they got to keep trying until something works out. So I, I had a lot of distractions at the end of last year. I had a, a partnership that was uh, kind of fizzling out. I mean, it's all good. We're friends and all that stuff. It's just the, the, the energy is like a balloon. You know, the air went out of the balloon. Um, the, the energy kind of left that. I wanted to go in a different direction. They wanted to go in another direction for me. You know, it all worked out fine. Again, still really great friends, but we just, you know, that, that just kind of fizzled out over the next few months. Uh, some of my asset building ideas did not work, frankly, which is okay. Um, you know, an asset is something that is deep, deeply valuable, something that will pay you money over a longish period of time. And uh, so it theoretically should take a while to figure out how to do that. And... Um, so, I mean, and, and, and I had a lot of distractions because uh, I have the ongoing battle of making money today or making money this month as opposed to spending that time, you know, creating assets for the future. As, as a perfect example, uh, I had recently one, two, three different people come to me and say, hey, we got this idea, this is cool, let's sell this, and... You know, that makes money for me now. It makes a lot of money for me now. But uh, that pulled time away from, you know, finishing my first Kindle book, uh, finishing up my first Udemy course, which is, the, these are two ways that I'm creating assets online. And uh, so, you know, I, I'm just pointing out that I have this ongoing battle, okay, that everybody has. So, you know, when you look at your goals and when you look at what you want to do, you know, next year, when you kind of get toward the end of a period and you're kind of thinking, well, did it go like I think it did? You know, it might have. Uh, I mean, basically, there, there are three possibilities. One, it did exactly what you thought it would do. That's rare. Two, it didn't do anything. That's pretty usual. And three, it just went downhill. That's rare also. I mean, usually people just kind of stay stuck. Um you know, when you're looking at that, it's really good to have a sort of a paradigm to think about your goals with. And that's what I want to give you today. Because you would think that goals, uh, directions, you know, themes in your business, you would think that these things are pretty simple. You know, you would think that, well, all I have to do is, I mean, Zig Ziglar said you must have goals. So you would think all I got to do is have my goal and then figure out how I'm going to get there and all that stuff. It's a little it's a little more complex than that. Basically, I find that there are two kinds of changes that you can make in a business, okay? And uh, the Zigster, absolutely, whom I love. But, 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 you know, the whole goal thing required some unpacking in my head. Uh, basically, there are two kinds of changes that you can make in a business. There are quantitative changes and there are qualitative changes. So... Let me define that. A quantitative change would be where you take your business as is and just do more of it. <clears throat> now, there may be some tweaks. There may be some fat you can cut out, you know, some wasted time, wasted effort. Maybe you can automate some stuff. Maybe you can package up some stuff and give it to an employee or ship it off to an outsourcer or something like that. And th that's going to streamline things and make you more productive. But still, you're basically doing the same thing. You're just doing it in a more efficient way. Or maybe you're just doing more of it. Maybe you, instead of working uh, four hours a day, you want to work eight hours a day. Maybe instead of working eight hours a day, you want to work 12 hours a day. You know, you can do that. Taking it out of your hide like that's a little difficult, but you can do that. But um, these are all quantitative changes. And basically, these aren't going to fundamentally change anything. All right? Th th this isn't going to fundamentally change your business or fundamentally add something really different and new to it. This is just going to streamline what you have. Now, this is really problematic for the following people. It's real. It's extremely problematic for newbies. How do you tell a newbie, uh, write down a goal for how much money you want to make this year? Well, you know, okay, well, write down a number. You, you can write down a number, $60,000, all right? Just 
because divided by 12, that's $5,000. It's easy to talk about. But $60,000, say, you know, say, say you're, brand, you're, you're brand new and that's, you know, what you write down. Eh, you know, I mean, what are your chances of doing that? Well, if if you get the right, we're talking about online businesses or, or network marketing businesses. And online, if you get the right training and you have the right skills and it all kind of, you know, meshes together, your chances are pretty good of doing that. Uh, in network marketing, you get with the right company, you have the right upline, or you already have access to a bunch of people and you have the right training, the right mindset, chances are pretty good of doing that, okay? But most people don't come with all of those skills and assets in place. Hello from Finland. Hell, hi, how are you doing? Most people don't come into new businesses with all of that stuff in place. Most people who are newbies are going from employment towards self-employment. And they don't have the mindset. They, um, they, <laughs> they, <laughs> they don't have the mindset. They, um, you know, they, uh, <laughs> Sorry, that's funny. I used to teach high school. Uh, I, I I used to get that all the time. Matter of fact, I used to. I I, I nearly said my uh, I nearly said my normal. Um, I nearly said what I would have said in high school about that, which would have had something to do with his mother. But I refrained. So I'm very proud of myself. I'm growing up. But anyway. <laughs> So quantitative change, I'm sorry, that's just hilarious to me, quantitative changes, I mean, I'm in Atlanta, right? I mean, just, just, just put it all together, okay? Quantitative changes. So quantitative changes can take something that already exists and something that you know and make it better, all right? Or mash it down and, and you're spending less time or uh you know i mean it, it can somehow enhance it all right so may, maybe you're spending eight hours a day i went through a quantitative change about three years ago i, I was working eight to ten hours a day and i said well to heck with that i think i can do the same thing and work uh, probably four or five hours a day and i went through a quantitative change i basically compressed my time i cut out fat i got rid of stuff and yeah i do I did that, and I do that, and it's a whole heck of a lot better to make the same amount or more money and work less hours, right? But um, but it's really hard on newbies, you know. When when Delilah, I'm Delilah. I'm so sorry that you came in now instead of like what 20 seconds ago. You would still be laughing had you done that. But anyway, um, I'll explain to you someday. <laughs> but. Uh, so quantitative changes are hard on newbies because you don't have anything to change. You don't have anything to massage. You're, you, you, you are very much at the 30,000 foot level. You're looking for the big picture. You're not working on the fine tuned parts of your game. You're just trying to find the freaking stadium, right? So quantitative changes in your goal, you know, moving toward your goals is also really different when you want to change something big in your business, okay? Uh, as I said, this time last year or between a year and a year and a half ago, I had the desire to make some giant changes in my business. They have come about somewhat. They've got a long way to go. These giant changes just take a while. Uh, specifically, I wanted to move... Uh, I, I want to create a lot more assets that pay me money while I'm out goofing off, okay? Which is entirely, completely doable. It's much harder than most people think, and it's much harder than your average sales letter tells you that it is. Uh, those kinds of changes are usually, not always, but usually impossible to make with quantitative changes. Because when you're doing a new thing, okay, when you are... Um, when, when you're doing something that revolutionizes your business or when you're a newbie, you know, when you walk into something, you, you just have this inner, I call it your inner entrepreneur. You have this inner desire to actually do something new with your life. You have this inner push, you know, and you finally get up the guts to, uh, you know, buy that coaching or buy that program or heck, just build a website and start doing whatever. Or get with that company. Say yes to the person that's been pestering you about whatever. You know, you finally get up the guts to do that. 
and you're totally new, you're absolutely wet behind the ears, this is a time for qualitative change in your life. This is a time for big picture stuff. This is a time for, you know, let's look at the big picture and let's understand in broad strokes how this thing works. Can't do that with quantitative change. You can't do that with, well, I think I'm wasting time over here or I think I'm doing that over there. And with qualitative change, it is really difficult for you to say, I'm going to make X amount of money by uh, June the 15th or June, the, whatever, halfway through the year is June the 30th or something like that. That's really difficult to do. But yet qualitative change is usually where most people are. Qualitative change in your business, and this goes for your relationships, your body mass index, anything going on in your, in your life, okay? If you, okay, I exercise fairly regularly, all right? And, but if I wanted to like, you know, get really ripped, which I'm not, but if I wanted to get really ripped, I'd have to make a qualitative change in my exercise. That would be a whole new deal, right? So if you look at your goals and your directions and the things that you want to do with your life and the, you know, we're at the end of the year, you, you, you have this idea, this push, this vision of what you want next year to look like. Think through it. Do I want to make a quantitative change or do I want to like revolutionize a ton of stuff and make a qualitative change? And if you want to make a qualitative change, then you're going to have to be patient. You're going to have to be gentle with yourself and you're going to have to allow yourself to screw up a lot. Just as I had said earlier in the program where I've been you know, working on this qualitative change in my business, moving more toward an asset-based business, and frankly, most of the stuff that I've tried hadn't worked. It's worked some, and it's learned, and I'm learning, and I'm closer to the goal and all that stuff, but uh, um, it hasn't worked, and that's okay. It's kind of like um, um, uh, Thomas Edison and the light bulb, you know? He didn't fail 10,000 times. He just found, you know, he's just 10,000 steps closer to the solution. That kind of change? I mean, that kind of mindset that's the mindset that I carry into this so think about your goals think about the year think about things that you want to change uh, if, 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 if you want to incrementally make 10 percent or 20 percent more money next year but doing the same kind of thing that you're doing this year that's a quantitative change if you want to just you know start over wipe the slate clean or if you want to add something totally new or you want to do this new big thing that you've been scared of, or you want to have a different, a, a, a dramatically different relationship between your time, your life, and money, those things sound like qualitative changes to me. Those two directions of change, of, of growth, of goals are wildly different in how you approach them. So be aware of that as you go into the end of the year and the beginning of next year, and you know, just be gentle and patient with yourself if you're making qualitative changes. As usual, if I can help you with any of this stuff, just reach out to me. Uh, you can find me on Facebook, facebook.com forward slash Lee Cole online, or my blog, internetmaverick.com. So this week, no, normally Monday through Friday, thank you so much. Monday through Friday, on your average week, 9 o'clock, Eastern daily business scope come rain or shine. This is Thanksgiving week in the United States, which is a huge holiday. So, uh, uh, <laughs> thank you so much. But uh, so tomorrow, Thursday, and Friday, no shows. Okay, I'm going dark <laughs> tomorrow, Thursday, and Friday. Next week, we're starting, you know, next week is business as usual. I'm not looking at a calendar at the moment. The week after that, business as usual, then we get in kind of close to Christmas. Uh, it The Christmas week will work kind of like the Thanksgiving week. I just don't know what days, okay? Uh, and then I think that week after Christmas, I want to hit some stuff hard because I want you to go into next year like a bull in a china shop, like a samurai who's just had, you j j j just sick of this fill in the blank and just going to tear up the place, okay? So so let, let let's get ready uh, to do that. Um, I got some good ideas for you guys. Okay, I, I got some really good ideas for you guys. So, uh, thank you so much. I don't have a show without you. I love you. If I can help you, reach out to me on Facebook. Just, you know, friend me, message me. Um, 
Every now and then I get spammed with uh, obvious spam Facebook requests. If I happen to delete your friend's request, um, hit me up on Twitter, okay? I mean, you got my you got my handle here on Periscope. It's at absolutely. That's the word absolutely, but it's spelled absolute, just like the word absolutely, except instead of L-Y, it's L-E-E, -E, okay? It's the same thing on Twitter. Twitter.com slash absolutely. Hit me up there, message me there. Um, I'm seriously interested in helping you out, so um, let's let let's change some things. Let let's make the end of this year and beginning of the next year making some dramatic changes between your life, your time, and your money. And let me know how I can help you do that because that's my deal in life. I'm an evangelist for that. Last show of the week. Thank you so much. I will see y'all next Monday.